Hello, everybody, and welcome to. Wait for it. Anybody? Party Crawl! <laughs> Here we go, let's there do it. Is. Hello, and welcome to TV episode 98. That is right. This Woo. is the last episode. Yay. 100th episode. Celebration. Wait, this is 98? It is 98. Uh, Isn't there a 99 in there? Yeah. Yes, after 98. I remember Windows 98. Oh, wait, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> wow. Because it sucked. So, how, how's life in such, you guys? Better without you. On, Interesting, for mm. usual. Oh, real. I'm better without Windows 98. <laughs> <laughs> TTV episode 98, better without Windows 98. <laughs> uh, apparently, <laughs> speaking of Windows... Apparently, Microsoft is cutting all support for Windows XP now. I saw. Yep. Sad days are upon us, man. Gotta, and gotta go to that Vista. <laughs> yeah, man, Windows and XP and will be... No, no, not when Vista. Vista hey. should have been cut off. <laughs> I used Vista Vista's estranged before. from the Windows family. I used Vista until, like, 2012. Vista. 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 Okay, well, may as well cut to the chase, get this episode on the road. Let us introduce ourselves. Hello, my name is Messenger. Hello, my name is LJ. Hello, my name is Ven. Um. Howdy. Nice to meet you, Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yes, your name for the entire episode. Congrats, Viper. Howdy, and welcome <laughs> to Taze Haven. Are you, are you going to say your actual name? Me or Venom. Okay, you yeah, know what? That's Viper. <laughs> and now, yes, that's me. We have a special guest returning and for I'm, the third time. And I'm Phantom Terror. Yes. Phantom Terror. My last yeah, time. This is back once more for an epic celebration of lols and laughter. And I'm back! He's bad. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So we've got quite an interesting layout, layout of news to talk about today. And by interesting, mm -hmm. I mean it's it's varied, but it's nothing that's going to make anybody jump for joy. So I'm interested in seeing how far we can carry a conversation with some of this stuff. Now, VAR is not here today, which means somebody else... Let's do the news music. Who will volunteer? LJ will do it. What? I thought you would. Why would I do that? Who in the world told you that? Right next to VAR, you're the music guy. In fact, <laughs> you and VAR are like tied at the music level. The music level? Yeah, you guys are like the Beethovens of this group. Pandemic Banda, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, how does it even go? Uh, I guess well, I know every time Bard it, does it, I just tune out what, what bar? until he gets to the Okay, let's just pretend well, that I sang the whole thing. Okay, yeah, yeah uh, I will, but just to answer your question, what Bar sings isn't even the new song. He sings the Comic Maker Spotlight song. <laughs> but, I remember that. Okay. So in the news this week, we have more masks from Modolf. Lego Guardians of the Galaxy official set images. Tohu contest results. After the Blackout music video. And name the next pirate ship. <gasps> I use the black pearl. What would, what would you guys name your pirate ship? <laughs> if, if you were a pirate ship, what, what would you call it? I would name mine Destiny's Bounty. I think that's taken. Yeah. That creates... Wait, that's from Ninja Go, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. I know it sounded familiar. Too good to be true. Hmm. Oh. I'm a little bit 
torn between the SS Demon Failbook and the SSLJ. <laughs> SSLJ. So, <laughs> the Christian is on display so much today. How about it's Unified Destiny because the pieces are all unified. So anyway. And there's Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to respond to that. So... Let us move on to the first topic of news today. More masks from Odal's. Now, this is actually interesting for a variety of reasons. The, it's not interesting. As you may it's, know. It's really not. We are affiliated with Air of the Cr Not really. Not masks. Modal masks. <laughs> and it's my understanding they are his direct competitors. Not really. I, I must guess. I must, like, first say... Everybody go to Air of the Chronicler for all your custom mask needs. However, <laughs> looking at these masks, they are quite cool. Most notably, um, that Akakunuva. That yes. is legit. And also the Takua mask, but, you know, whatever. Some impressive stuff is done here, and some, I think, came off better than others, but... I, wa I want to see it. Oh, okay. It's like the first topic on BZP. But, you know... I don't go on BZP anymore. Duly noted. I, I kind of guess. Honestly, uh, dude, I... Really? You expect me to go back on that? Yeah, you know, never mind. I'm just gonna stop talking about it. I really have to wonder... Why? Why did they put this up on the news? Because there's... Few people post this anymore, and this is by honor. Because they're busy power. I guess, but. Fair the chronicle. Oh, yeah, these masks. These this masks is. are pretty great, but, uh. You know, there's a but. <laughs> there is a but. Do we know? How do I put these on my mocks without them looking completely out of place? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay, that is the that's the correct answer, everybody give them a round of applause. There's pretty much oh, no uh, way unless you buy sets like at the bottom where they have armor and... Oh yeah, I know, that. I see that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, but... But you still won today's stupid award, everybody give them <laughs> a round of applause. Just what I never wanted. What's it? So, that's pretty much that. I wish I could talk more about these, but... Are these up for sale or anything? Are these um, up for sale? I think they're all up for sale. Most of them are up for sale. He doesn't Except for it. the ones that you pictured at the bottom, which were sold at Brick Fair. Okay. Because, yeah, he doesn't even mention buying them in the front post. So I'm like, why? What does this mean for the average Joe? Can I, like, request a black Puna Metro? I believe you could. Nice. But request it from Air of the Chronicle. You could probably do that yourself. Request it from Air of the Chronicle. Yeah, but what if I don't want to do it myself? Then buy from Air of the Chronicle. No, I'm exactly. Air, you're getting a lot of plugs today. I hope you feel happy about this. I hope you listen to this. Probably won't. No one's going to listen to this. And make my Kini Nui. I commissioned him to make me Kini Nui. Ah, uh, wasn't it in Toa scale? In set forms, yeah, yep. That is gonna be interesting. That's yep. gonna be ambitious and it, expensive. It, it, I know. Right? It, well, I, I don't know how much it's gonna be. He hasn't priced it for me yet. Glad he said he was gonna look into it. But hey, he owes me a cookie with that. Literally, he said he'd make a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's Modalt masks. I'm not exactly sure if you can buy them. I guess if you were wondering, the best way to do so would be to contact the dude via PM on BZP, but if not, I guess they're just there to look cool, which, yeah. I guess, always a good thing to do. No, so I don't like you. <laughs> Why, Ben? What have I done? Maybe you go on BZP again. <laughs> oh, now he's hooked. Lols. No, no, really, I closed it. Ah. Uh, just closed it. Well. Ah. I feel burn. <laughs> Well, the, the next <laughs> bit of news may interest you a bit more, because we have the final highs <laughs> uh, of the Guardians of the Galaxy Lego set. 
Yay! Yes. And these sets, there are three sets being released for the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. They are as follows, from smallest to largest. Star Blaster Showdown! Uh, Nowhere Escape Mission. And the Milano Spaceship Rescue. A.K.A. Ares's Intergalactic Eagle. Yeah. And the Star Blaster Showdown appears to be a small vehicle being piloted by somebody whose name Star I cannot Lord? read. Not Star Lord. Nice. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, Star Lord's flying. Yeah, it's flying around. Uh, and then I think that's Ronan the Accuser in the other one, is it? Uh, no. I'm learning these guys' names. And I think that's him with the hood. Yeah, that may be Ronan. Also, I, I noticed know, they give Star Lord both his helmet and his hair. That's neat. They've been doing that a lot with, with the uh, licensed themes, at least with X Men. Quite. Yeah. It's very cool. And you know that sets whatever. It's pretty small, but it's the only one up till this point that we haven't seen. So. Congratulations. Vin, what do you think? What do I think? Yes, about the first set. What do I think? Yes, about the first set. <laughs> what do I think? Yes. I think it's a load of cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a load of cool. Yeah. Okay. The next oh, wait, that... That blue and purple guy is supposed to be Ronan the Accuser? No, the guy in the other vehicle, the red and black one. I think that's Ronan. I know that uh, on the Milano Spaceship Rescue, the guy with the hammers, Ronan. Oh, yeah, you're right. So the other dude is not him. Oh, uh, yeah. It's He's one of Ronan's name. minions. I know, I can't even read that text, but I know it says the something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that... That guy with the hammer should definitely... I think that is supposed to be Ronan. It was, it was confirmed a while ago. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it well, just cool. looks similar. As a... I have good judgment. Best judgment ever. Oh, wait. I don't, know why I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this. They have product descriptions. Why am I playing guesswork? That's, oh, yeah. That's that's right. Right. Like, Thanks, the Meso. Sa Thanks so much. Launch nice. battle against the Sakarans, Necrocraft, and the awesome Star Blaster, and help Star Lord to escape with the orb. Place the Nova Officer in the cockpit and launch into the sky. Fold back the wings for high speed pursuit mode, and then flip them up to activate arrest mode. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting Rocket Raccoon minifig. Wow, yeah. Okay, the dude is called yeah. me Sakuran. What the heck? Whatever that is. Anyway, then the next one, the Nowhere Escape Mission, obviously features Groot and Rocket Raccoon, and is obviously the best set. Uh, to be honest, I to be completely honest, I can care less for the Groot minifigure, macro figure. I mean, they could have done so much with it, and then they've got like it's the Chewbacca. Torso syndrome, basically. Wait, what more could they the do? The old Chewbacca. What are you talking about, dude. <laughs> the nowhere escape mission. Wait. Like what? the old Chewbacca minifigure. Um, you basically slid the entire headpiece on. That's basically what happens with Groot. As you could have had, um, like a Galador-esque torso. You could have had a fully, you could be fully articulated, but he isn't. Did you say Galador? Wait a second. Yes, I did. What are wait you a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think you're confused, Chris. I think you're very, very confused. <laughs> as you realize that the Groot minifigure is not a minifigure and it uses Mixel Ball joint. I said macro figure. I said macro figure. You, you realize... I said minifigure. You realize he, you make me you, angry. You realize he uses Mixel Ball joints to achieve full art. Yes, I do, reali I do realize that, but look at his elbows. They're what elbows. elbows. They look articulated to me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, the same elbows that the X Pod robots I want, use. I want head articulation for Groot, but he doesn't have it. Too bad, so sad. 
I, mean, I, I can understand and that, just, but I think that for the price point... Groot's gonna be like Batman whenever you want to play with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if, you're gonna, if you want him to do a dramatic turn, it has to be with his entire body. <laughs> <laughs> so team up with Groot. Oh, so the green hey, kind of looks out of place on Groot a little bit. To plot kind of looks kind of slapped on. From nowhere. They've discovered the rare orb in the mining fields, only to be ambushed by the bad guys. Evade shots from the huge bazooka, symboled by the Sakurad and is the evil nebula, and return fire to the raccoon <laughs> space blaster. Okay. Okay. And then the last one is obviously the same one we've seen time and time again. The Milano Spaceship Rescue, but now we know, confirmed all the minifigures. Uh, Epic Clash. Gamora, Drax, Star-Lord. I was going to read it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Ronan, and Hysakaron. Who are these guys? Does that name seem familiar? Because I think they're, I think it's like not the same person. I think it's like an alien species. Yeah, it probably is. Like the, what's their names? Um, from Avengers. The Jatari? Yeah, the Jatari. The Jatari. Um, Those were actually from, uh, from a few Avengers movies back, so, uh, last from the past. Cool beans. And then, of course, there's the X-Men set, too, like we've seen before. Yeah. That, yeah. that X-Men set looks better than all <laughs> these sets combined. Yeah. I don't know about that, I mean. <laughs> Already in That's the- Sentinel? Way better than Groot. What? The purple. That I like purple. It said just and for that purple. head articulation. I don't know about that, man. I mean, Groot is, like, Groot-tastic. I don't know. Groot-tastic. Groot-tastic. I'm still really disappointed in the X-Jet. Yeah, a lot of people are. Yeah. But, hey, they did fine with what they could I do. Mean, I mean, it, I think hey, it looks at least we get okay, a storm but, minifigure uh, and a cyclops minifigure. Who cares? <laughs> a black who cares? Only the fans of those characters. They are fans of those characters. <laughs> There's fans know. of those characters. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> there are fans of those characters. Said nobody ever. <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes storm. Nobody? Okay. And then Cyclops Awkward is the guy he's forever alone. Okay, I think I think your point has been proven. Let's just let's just cut our losses and <laughs> move on. Does anybody else have anything to say about these sets? Nah. <laughs> nah. Wait, wait, are are those orb things silver uh mata ball joints? No, they're Shazam or spheres are more than likely. No, but you can see the minifigures are holding them. Ah, Possibly mod ball joints. I do not really know. Yes. That would be cool. All right. So next up will be fairly quick. It's more something we want to update you all on because there's not really much to discuss anymore. The thing's over. LJ, the Tohu contest ended. Please enlighten us all as to the results of this endeavor. First place was won by a system... Entry by Paleo. Second place was one bare bones. I voted, I voted for Paleo. It, it stole my heart. Beaten by uh, two votes. Crunch Bite won second place with the asymmetric nonsense that he entered. And because of the asymmetric nonsense that he entered, I got third. But third is better than me. Huh. True that. Exactly. Congratulations, TTV achieved minor victories. Now, have you been contacted as to what prize you will be getting? And yeah, GG. Some prize. I don't know. It's either going to be a mini Batman tumbler, some Spider Man poly bag, some uh, Hero Factory accessory kit, or Jala McTorrin. Well, I know that. Crunch Bite already said he was going for Jala if he could. So that's one thing to not. And LJ, I just want to say, I just want to say something for the YouTube banner contest. Thank you for get it, letting me get the spaceship. Spaceship, 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 spaceship.
starship! I think it was a star oh. starship. <coughs> oh, uh, I didn't get any choice. I had to pick one of two. Black Six he oh. chose. Oh. And LJ lucked out and got the one with a bunch of minifigures. Yeah, oh, minifigures. Right. Okay. So, would you like to oh. thank, would you like to give your thanks to the fans that probably voted for you and let you get third place? Fans who may or may not have voted for I me, and that fans that, more. and fans that tried. Thank you. And cool. all. All and no. Well, maybe. Thank you all you very use much. Multiple accounts to vote for you. <laughs> Law. <Long. laughs> and we're gonna forget okay. you said that. Thank you very much for voting for me in the contest. It's much appreciated. On with the episode. On with the episode. <clears throat> now, to celebrate the upcoming. Repremiere of Ninjago Masters of Spinjitsu rebooted. <laughs> Apparently, there is an after the blackout music video available. Now, I'm trying to read the description here, and what I'm seeing is you have to buy it. No, 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 you don't have to buy it. They, that. They've got the video oh. embedded in um cool in the news post, and then you can download it with a YouTube video downloader or whatever. Cool bean. <laughs> cool bean. Okay. Cool bean. Let us cool. see this. I haven't even seen this. I'm going to skim through it and provide live running commentary. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I'm, I'm it's the sky ominous. Looks like Darth Sidious or something from Star Wars. Jam proudly presents the full jam. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. These graphics. This is stuff we haven't seen yet, I think. Never mind. No, we've seen everything here before. Oh, well, then my, my interest level just went down dramatically. But what a style of the music video. Different colored lights and windows. For the ninjas, meso. Yeah. Well, everyone go check it out. My drive to watch it just got torpedoed. Thanks, LJ. What? <laughs> I just saved you so much time. You crushed my hopes and dreams. And it's because you know, of you that I won't watch this and provide commentary. That's what we do around here. We crush I just watched it. I, it. It was okay. But I still like the Cryo Shell music videos better. I well, personally like this one a lot. It was pretty good. I like yeah, this that dog. I should have a Cryo Shell soundtrack. Yes. Creeping imbecile. Nah. <laughs> I can see it now. Creeping in my ninjoid. Wait a second. <laughs> I think Creeping Viper's trying ninjoid. to drink bottled water or something. Oh, what's going on with you, Viper? You've been silent for a while. Bye bye. Oh, people going Here in and out go. and interruptions. Ah, oh, well, thank you for muting. Speaking of interruptions. Yes. So now we shall talk about probably one of the most interesting things here for a lot of people, even if not personally for myself. It is April 2014, and a lot of people are speculating that this hints towards a revival of this theme in 2015, even though it could not be the case. It could be a special edition set. There's a contest, I think, on B Brick to where you can name the next Lego pirate ship. So, oh yeah, never mind, it is pretty much confirmed. They say early next year a new ship will set sails on the Lego's water. On the Lego waters, not Lego's water. <laughs> wow. So a lot of people are thinking that this foreshadows the return of Lego pirates in early 2015. Which would be very interesting because it's been on a hiatus for many years. They took it away to replace it with Pirates of the Caribbean, which <laughs> some people and some didn't. I never personally bought any of the sets, but it was a mixed bag. And I think... I don't know what requirements you have to enter this contest. However, I think that it will be over. You've got to be... Uh, uh, I know the requirements. You've got to be um, a Rebrick member at least 16 years old. Okay. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Really? Yeah. Well, 
by the time this episode goes live, the contest will be over, I think, because it says it ends on the 13th. Oh, no. So, well, we will, I guess, by this time it's too late for you to enter, but you can go check it out at the entries. The jury that will judge these entries will consist of Frederick Hoff, community <laughs> editor at the Lego Group, nice. Nicholas Groves, creative design lead, and Bjar Mike Madsen, senior designer. Okay, it, it, if I could enter this, I would probably name um, the ship the Cursed Bounty. Just because. Or just a bucket full of creative names. <laughs> <laughs> You're no better than LJ. Hey. <laughs> L ship. You said the SSLJ. <laughs> that was like. Dude, the SSLJ would sail so proudly. <laughs> Viper, what would you name a ship? Viper. They're all dead to me. <laughs> 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 what about you? <laughs> I don't know what I'd name it. Okay, I've got it. The Peg Sail. <laughs> nice. It's a pirate ship, Peg Leg. And oh, it's come on. <laughs> It'd work. You're all the disgrace to this. What would you name it? I would name it. You would hmm. name it the Shway. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <Shway. laughs> the HMS Awesome Sauce. <laughs> the, the Amazing Raisin. Indeed. All of these are infinitely raisins. better. Okay. Well, everyone should get excited for the return, at least in some capacity, of Lego Pirates in early 2015. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about this news. Hopefully that means certain other themes will also be returning in 2015. Oh, no. Like, uh... Strobot. Like Bionicle. Strobot. Yeah, yes, Strobots. Get hype. Yeah. Get hype. Okay. So that is pretty much it. So now... Elja, how's things been going with you? Any more catastrophes happened in your life? Let me think. Uh, the power supply that I reordered, by the time this episode goes live, it should probably be here. Thank goodness. Yay. It's in my state. Woohoo! Uh, irrigation is going to be starting up. That's going to be tiresome. Poor LJ. We had a car die. Oh, yeah, oh. There, there is more misfortune. Yeah, <laughs> one of our cars kicked the bucket. Well, great. But it's thankfully, we have a car that works. It's for the best. Vin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. But th we, have, we actually have two that work. One of them had some issues, but it's okay now. Uh... <laughs> but the other kicked the bucket. Well, <laughs> poor. I like your sense of humor. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Oh, God. But other than that, you know, roof over my head. I'm all in one piece, so we're good. Congratulations. Yeah. What? What's been going up with you, Chris, since you've last been on? I've been working on rewriting a fan fiction that I started forever ago. Congratulations. I know that feel all too well. Yeah. And I've also been working on mocking. I'm and basically. Pushed out. I've got no inspiration now, and I'm just trying out random ideas as they come and go. Ah, uh, no inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Well done. I've reached that point. You can find some inspiration. Just look around. I need to rewatch the Lego Movie. Exactly. If you ever want to get yes. inspired to do stuff, watch that movie. Fantastic Everything things. Is awesome. No copyrighted music. Everything is loose. Viper, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you must not do this. I can't even look around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gonna get, this is going to get flagged for copyright now. That's what I keep smiling. We'll be fine. We'll live like, on the edge. Sometimes you just have to. So let's see. Uh, What else? I think that's about it. Viper, do you have any stories you want to tell? Um, no. You were going to go ice skating. But you did. Oh, yeah. 
I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just in case someone I know watches <laughs> the podcast okay. and just comes up to me like, you mislied. Yeah. You lied. You mislied. You mislied. I was gonna. I was you gonna told say the truth. How could you? Let it go. I was gonna say missed the ice skate, but I didn't. I lied. Good job, Mike. Now, if now Snow I'm... watches this, they will hear that you lied. You know, what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> no, I, I hate ice skating. You're following. <laughs> I'm never Shit. going back. The past is I in will the end past. You. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this, Chris. Don't do Chris. Okay, this. all you need to do is let it go. All I need to do is strangle you. Yeah, after after bruising my cock six doing ice skating, Your I what? never want to do it again. <laughs> Wait, what? My cock six, my tailbone. Ah, it hurts. Oh. It hurts a lot. <laughs> Literally, I felt like an old grandma as I as <laughs> winced as I went to pick up a penny that I dropped on the floor. Wow. Afterwards. And you ended up hitting your coccyx. Poor Viper. No, that was after I, I bruised it. I went to go get some food from the vending machine because I basically had to sit on the side. I dropped the penny, and because it's on your tailbone, when you bend over, it hurts <laughs> like hell. <laughs> well done. <I> was, oh, <laughs> yeah, do, do you know what I was like? Do you know what I was like? I was like Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 2 when he falls from the building. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, just trying to pick up a penny. You son, help me pick up me penny. And then like yeah. some whippersnapper comes along, snatches up and like, Cyclone lady. <laughs> wow, just <laughs> <laughs> this is your world. If I was a kid, I'd kick it under the vending machine. Me, sir. <laughs> this is the yeah. world you live in, LJ. This is it. This is the world I live in. Hmm. Okay. You can't have nice things. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, unless anybody has anything else, I think that may wrap it up for today's episode of TTV. But be so. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't ask. What's going on with you? What? You were the only person I didn't ask what's going on with their lives. What? That's so. Why you want to ask me that? There's Maybe always flack to Flynn. Well, we've done that before. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Do you want to do talk to Vin, Vin? <laughs> nah. Talk, talk to Meso. Listen. Talk to Meso with Vin. <laughs> so, Vin. Okay. <laughs> How's things been going lately, or whatever you said? <laughs> um, I, uh, I've been doing some stuff, been working on projects. You got Stormer's Freeze Machine. Yeah, and I got Stormer's Freeze Machine, thanks to Amazon's free two-day shipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yippee! And I got the big purple dinosaur. Barney! <laughs> oh, God, silence. East is a great set. <laughs> great silence, great. indeed. <laughs> oh, you mean Jaw Beast, I see. I see. Yes. I get you. Oh, yeah, Jaw Beast is on my list. Yeah, those trans are short. Um, Actually, no way, no, not Jaw Beast. Epic. Splitter Beast and Fire Beast are on my list. Pretty much everything Fire except Beast. Evo Walker Fire is Beast. on my list because that set is for posers. <laughs> I'm just gonna get that set. It, it's overpriced too. Yeah. I'm gonna get that set. I'm gonna get that set to spite you. <laughs> it's a cool alternate model somebody made. That's better than the yeah. actual set. Yeah. Well. Okay. Then, now that that's all over. <laughs> What you gonna do next? Man. <laughs> wow, just yeah, throw me a bone it, here. Nobody has answered that question correctly. I think there was like correctly. one person that said, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> okay, it's gotta be reset, you know, once we hit 100 episodes. Yeah. Well. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps 
Yeah. I agree to the max. Ven is a lump on a log. If Viper is old it. lady. Chris is uninspired. And I. Viper broke her coccyx. LJ broke his coccyx. Meso broke his head. Aww. <laughs> uh. And. Messer broke his unfunny bone. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's funny now, haha, <laughs> dork. Why you do? Well, uh, pessimistic bone. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> that is true. Right. That does not exist in me. Esso, meso. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just? <laughs> Peso, meso. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> episode for nine, episode ninety eight, episode ninety eight, peso meso. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, oh. All right. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. The episode ninety eight. Much discussion contained within. I'd like to thank Chris for being on today. I hope you enjoyed your thank time. Thank you for having me on. At TTV, and please be sure yep. everyone that has watched this. To like, favorite, rate, comment, subscribe, and board the hype train for the 100th episode. Board the SSLJ. And which, subscribe to me, too. Of which we still do not have concrete ideas for what we are going to do for the 100th episode. So pitch them. Are... Any ideas? You got them? Make them a 10. That would actually be pretty helpful if anybody has any ideas for what they'd like to see. Also, get excited. For another event happening this year, sometime in July. I guess we should start the hype building. Tuma Fest. No, shut up, yes. Mike. Yep. Tuma, Tuma Fest. Fest. Tuma, Tuma Fest is officially happening, everybody. I will be doing it soon. I'm sure people would appreciate that if we did that. <laughs> However, it is still named Makuta Fest, and that is going to be happening in July. That's a that's that's a lie. It's actually called Tuma Fest. It's called Makuta Fest because then you do not. Oh get wait, we're keeping it a secret. That's right. Uh, no, we're not. Oh, so it is. Okay. So, yes, it is official. It's it called Tuma Fest. It is not officially Tuma Fest. Okay, goodbye. Yes, thank you for up, up <laughs> today. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> goodbye. My name You're is not Zach. <laughs> I'm LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Vika. I'm so glad this episode's over. <laughs> we'll see you all next time for the next exciting episode of TTV. Goodbye.